Hello everybody, my name is Hasty Swampert, and I am back to give you all a um, vlog. So, if you've been paying attention on Twitter, I went to um, Seattle Regionals, and I thought that after my experience of going to the tournament, I thought I'd make a video talking about my team for a little, and then after that we're gonna go into different details about the tournament. So, if you, like I said, if you paid attention, you knew I went to Seattle, and I wanted to have fun with it because, let's be honest here, traveling is expensive, and I will go more into that later, but I wanted to use my, I wanted to use a team. You know how earlier on I was trying to use Metacham? I tried using it again, under Tailwind support with the Zadu, with Magic Bounce to stop Dark Void, and I have Skill Swap with the, um, my... Modest Kyogre, which is what I had in my game, and that was there to reset the weather. Barely used it though, and I have my low kick spamming Metacham, and I have a Kangaskhan for the Ghost immunity. Aegislash is there for Xerneas and to just have wide guard support. Weavile's there for a fast fake out and to put some. to um, inflict some pressure on Salamence and. What else? Pressure on Salamence, and a bit of pressure on Cresselia. Not too much, but a little. But, yeah, that was the team itself. But, what I did was, I went to the um, tournament, and it was fun. Because, I got to meet um, Lucas Celtape, and I also was able to meet Little Bigness. And, it was fun with them. And I met them on the um, Saturday, which the tournament was taking place. And I didn't do that great. I only did okay. I had, um, we had seven rounds. And I got four wins and three losses. And I really did um, misplay a lot. And one of my wins was because um, my opponent for round six did not appear at all. So that was a free win. So... If you were to kind of leave that round out, it would be 50-50 for a win and loss, which isn't that great, but it can always get worse. So, really, yeah, this team was not the greatest, but I thought I'd have fun with it, but unfortunately I got my butt kicked a bunch of times and it wasn't as great as I thought it was. I thought it looked excellent on paper, but it looks like it wasn't. So... What else was I going to talk about? Ah, oh, I forgot. I already told you how my team worked. Quickly. But... Yeah, the Tailwind. There were Dark Void Smeargles, so this did help. It also helped bounce back um, Grass Whistle from a Whimsicott under Gravity, which was pretty neat. But... Oh yeah, I was going to go on a little VGC rant in general, because... When I was there... I barely saw any diversity. Now, you're gonna complain and be like, Oh, you're stupid. VGC isn't about diversity. It's about being the best and winning. Which is fine. But I want to talk about why um, VGC 16 is that way. So, from what I observed, you know how there's like mostly teams which are like Big 6, which is like Xerneas, Primal Groudon, Crobat, uh, Mega Salamence, Mega Kangaskhan, and, you know, Smeargle, the one which spams Dark Void. So, all of those Pokemon, that's like the main setup, it's like the chalk of this year's VGC. So, besides that, I didn't really see much outside of it, besides like Rayquaza, I did see Evoltal, I did see Primal Kyogre, like, the most interesting thing I saw was a, um, a support Mega Latias with Tailwind and Helping Hand, which I thought was neat because you don't really see that every time. But besides that, all the teams were very, um, very similar. Like, they had, like, the same 10 Pokemon, which was kind of sad. I was hoping there was going to be more diversity, but there wasn't. And I think this year in general is a mess. And... I think the real culprits are just the fact that primals exist. Because, let's look at Primal Kyogre for a moment. Primordial Sea. 
you pretty much, well it doesn't say it here, but with Primordial Sea, um, if a Pokemon like tries to use Sunny Day or use a Fire Move, that gets fizzled out and it will still rain. I feel like now that we had the um, Primordial Sea in the Desolate Land being present in this year's metagame, I feel like that it has caused a major strain and it also it really centralized the usage of Pokemon, like you can't use any weather setters anymore. They're all obsolete, like Politoed, Mega Charizard Y, uh, Ninetales. What's another Pokemon? Um Yeah, those are the those are a few weather setters. But those Pokemon can't be used anymore. And along with that, you can't use Heatran. You can't use certain Pokemon because the primals just destroy them. And Xerneas is also a problem, but there's less... There's more answers to Xerneas than to Kyogre and Groudon. Like, the problem with Groudon is that it's just so really... It's really powerful and there's desolate land, so you can't really just simply use a water move. You'd have to reactivate Primordial Sea with, like, roleplay, switch Kyogre back in... Primal Kyogre back in after switching it out, or skill swapping it. It's just a pain in the butt. I don't like using primals because you have to kind of play this circle tag with your opponent who's using desolate land while I'm here trying to reset the freaking weather on my primal Kyogre. But I'd have to take like a Prespice Blades, which with this kind of investment, you're not taking the hit that well. So really, you're just stuck in a really hard position trying to get your weather back in and trying to win. So, it's just so stressful, and I feel like it's so difficult trying to use a Primal when you should try not to fight the weather and probably use something else, but a lot of people will argue that the Primals are the best Pokemon, so I'm just going to leave it as that. So, what I learned is I don't like using Primals. Primals are too, they're too annoying for me to use, they're too hard just because you have to constantly reset the weather, especially Kyogre, because once Desolate Land activates, it's just total dead weight. It drives me nuts. So, and I didn't use Skill Swap that much, so it, it didn't really help a lot. So, now, that's one point I got out of the way. How far am I? Seven minutes in, eight minutes almost? Okay, so the next part I wanna talk about is getting worlds this year is like what I think is ridiculous is that to get worlds it's just so expensive like from what I've observed observed for me to fly to the other country the other side of America to attend this tournament it costs like a thousand dollars and I know that the championship point level to get to Worlds is 350. And to tell you how hard it is to get to Worlds, you have to fly to all those regionals. And best case scenario, you either just go to Nationals and get close to first or first or whatever it is and automatically get to Worlds, or you'd have to fly to like three regional tournaments do like first place or close to those and get worlds or you'd have to go to all these premier challenges and then fly to these regional tournaments in case you're not that great of a battler so you either have to be stupidly good or you have to have like a lot of money on your hands and I know that I am not Donald Trump rich so to do all that is not easy so I'd have to play incredibly well but really how I saw it is, it's not worth it. This is the only tournament I'm going to this year, probably. Maybe one later this year, but I think after this one, I, after like this one, I don't think it's gonna happen. But it's just so expensive to just try to get to Worlds. It's ridiculous. And I hope if the metagame is lighter next year, I can probably try to get to Worlds if it's VGC 17. But it's just gonna cost so much money, it's gonna kill me. So, I think that's it. I'm just not a fan of having primals this year. Worlds, getting there is so expensive, even though it's always been that way. But, 
if you liked my little rant in general, you could leave a like, comment, subscribe, or you can say that I'm stupid and I should go die, but I don't think any of you are going to say that because you guys are my fans for most of the part. I don't think you're ever going to say that to me. But regardless, if you did enjoy this video, I would like it if you were to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. That is, if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all next time.